What's up everybody welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to continue with the shut up about the series. And what I want you to do now is shut up about the fucking excuses. Like, I don't want to hear them anymore. And then, you know, it's one thing when clients write to me because, first of all, they hired me for my fucking time. They're looking for my advice. They're looking to, for me to take time out of my fucking day to help them get around this because they know I've, I've been there and I've done it. But when people actually fucking write me emails and I answer them and you're not on my fucking dime, and I'm taking my fucking time to explain to you that you can fucking do it no matter what. And you're actually bitching back at me that I don't understand. Fuck you. Like, why? I just don't, I just stop answering. So I'm like, you know what? I don't want to fucking hear it. Like, all you have is excuse after excuse and rationalization after rationalization of why you can't do it. And I don't give a fuck because you are so full of fucking shit that it's pathetic. The main one that I hear all the time is, Jerry, work because of work. I can't stick to my diet. Why? When the fuck did work hold you down on a fucking four-point restraint and dump fucking stuffing from Thanksgiving down your fucking throat? Since when the fuck did someone hold a gun to your head at a fucking bar from work and make you drink fucking 25 shots before you fucking went to bed? That's bullshit. I don't want to fucking hear it. Okay, you can do anything you fucking want. Like, Jerry, it's not social if I go out and not drink. Get the fuck out of my face. What are you, you scared the, the fucking kids in the playground to make fun of you because you're not getting fucking hammered with them? How about you fucking nut up and look at them in the fucking face and say, look, this is what I'm doing. This is who I am. This is what I'm about. I'm going to have a Diet Coke with lemon in it. I'm going to have a fucking bottle of water. I'm going to do whatever the fuck I want because I don't want to get fucking hammered. I got goals. I want to do this, whatever. If you don't want to do that, then fine. But don't come back to me and fucking complain that you can't. I hate that fucking word. I can't. That's bullshit. You absolutely can. You don't. You won't. You don't want to. That's the bottom line. You want the end result without the work and shit that goes into it. You don't want the lifestyle change, but you want the look to walk down the street. You want to look like you do it, but not actually do it. And that's not how it fucking works. For the few genetic motherfuckers out there that, uh, that do and that works for them, that's not you, motherfucker. You're the fat fucker eating shit fucking blaming it on work, fucking doing shots, blaming it on work, and saying, I just can't. Shut the fuck up. You can. You just choose not to and you fucking rationalize it because you're weak. That's it, period. The other one is... Well, Jerry, because I work so many hours, it's always fucking, it's a lot of it's work. I don't have time. And then they, they point out the fact, because I'll say, yeah, you, you have to make time. And these are not even my clients. These are just fucking people from all over the world that fucking email me. And I'll point out, yes, you have to make time. You have to find time in your day and fucking make time to do these things. Well, you don't understand because you do YouTube for a living. What the fuck does that mean? It doesn't mean, you do YouTube for a living and... You do personal training, so you're pretty much your own boss. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Well, first of all, you think I've been doing this since I was fucking born? You think I never worked a fucking job? You think I never did fucking manual labor? I worked four, and I've mentioned this in videos before, four fucking jobs at one time. I worked the desk at the gym. I had my fucking clients. I worked at GNC and at a fucking club nights, okay? That's four fucking jobs. Not only I still get my fucking diet and my food in, I still competed, still go to my workouts, and got all my fucking cardio in. What happened? I had to suffer with sleep a little bit. I had to go with a little bit of sleep for a little bit of time. But you know what? It's not fucking forever. It's for a little bit of time and I accomplished my goals and got everything done. Why? You know why? Because I fucking wanted it. You don't want it. You don't want it bad enough. The worst fucking one is and they're like, Jerry, I have to go and, and, and do this and that and there's just no way that I can do it. Well, do you watch TV at night? Yes. How long? Two hours. Well, how about you watch fucking one hour? Go to bed early. Get up in the morning, hit your fucking cardio before the day, and then fucking it's done with. Oh, well, that takes time away from my family. Are you watching family while you're you hanging out with your family while you're watching TV? Well, no, I watch it when I go to bed. Shut the fuck up. Excuse after excuse. And I'm like, what the fuck do you really want? It's okay to not do those things. It's okay to say, I don't want to fucking not drink. And it's okay to say, I want to eat shit. It's okay to say, I want to watch TV. But don't fucking come to me under the guise of I have some fucking magic wand. And you'll wave it and make TV cardio for you. That doesn't fucking make any sense. And as far as the traveling shit, well, Jerry, I travel for work. I don't fuck, shut up about the fucking traveling. I don't want to fucking hear it. I travel all over the fucking country for these expos and shit. I'm in fucking airports. I fly from coast to coast. I've even traveled international in Mexico. Okay, so I get what it takes to fucking stick to shit. And I stick to shit. No excuses. Not one fucking excuse. When I went to Mexico this past year, 2015, I came back fucking leaner. Not only did I get my workouts in, I did my fucking cardio. When I stuck to a diet, I brought some food with me. I brought, I think it was Quest bars and protein powder with me. But the food that I ate at the fucking resort, chicken, fish, salad, regular steamed potatoes, steamed boiled rice, shit like that. I, I made the right choices. The bottom line is you don't want to make the right choices because they're not fun for you. You think that it's some kind of fucking like punishment. Where it's like, oh, I'm gonna have the fucking chicken instead of having this fucking crepe or whatever the fuck you want to eat. You think it's like, you look at it as like a punishment, like it's a negative thing. 
But every time you do that stuff when you're on vacation, you're traveling, you make the right choice. You have the salad and chicken instead of the fucking Big Mac at the airport. You know what? You're doing something positive for your body. You're doing something fucking that's going to help you accomplish your goals. You're going to feel better about yourself when you start doing it for a period of time. Instead, you feel sorry for yourself. It's all mindset. You feel sorry for yourself. Like, I can't have the Big Mac. This is so hard. Then you eat the Big Mac and you're like, well, Jerry, there was nothing else when I was traveling, so I had to eat the fucking Big Mac. Bullshit. There's a fucking salad with chicken fucking anywhere. Now you can even buy fucking meal replacements at the airport. They actually have, I don't know what company makes them. I know they make muscle milks and they have them there too, but there's like a company that makes fucking meal replacements that have been at every fucking airport that I went to. It's pre-made already in a plastic bottle in those little fucking stores, the newsstands. They're in there. That is better eating than eating a fucking Big Mac. You just choose not to. And I'm fucking tired of hearing it. If you're going to send me a fucking email telling me about fucking how hard it is for your job or your fucking family or you fucking can't do things, what do I suggest? What's my opinion? That's what you ask me. What do I suggest and what's my opinion? Shut the fuck up and get it done. I'm tired of fucking hearing it. You know deep down what the right thing is to do. You know deep down that you can fucking do it. You know deep down that you're fucking up, but you want me to fucking tell you it's okay so you can feel better about it. And that ain't going to fucking happen because that's bullshit. You look in the mirror, you're fucking weak and you choose not to do it. And that's the bottom line. Until you fucking change your mindset and pull your balls out of your fucking pocket, not up and do the fucking right things when you're supposed to do them, nothing is going to change. You're going to fail over and over. Training at gmail.com. Leave comments down below, but don't fight. www.biowashtraining.com is a blog. I don't want to hear it about the fucking traveling bicep and we're out.